Hi guys, um, today, um, alam nyo kagigising ko lang, it's 8am here, wala pa rin akong klase, actually every Friday wala akong pasok lang akong klase, so I have this chance to do a lot of things, like ito nga pag video, um, every morning, kahit naman siguro sino, di ba, um, mababa ang boses pag uh, bagong gising, so, just to give you a short um, video, pagka ganitong bagong gising ako, what, what I normally do, um, parang what's a typical day for me, pagka walang pasok, ganyan. So, ayan, from, from bed. <laughs> or And then, sama ko na rin, I'll show you around the place. This is my place. So, this is the living room. So, meron lang ako ditong isang area na wherein dito ko nagme-make up. Um, I guess, meron akong video na ipinakita sa inyo na yun, yun nga yung, yung, yung area ko wherein saan ako nagme-make up and all my stuff, my makeup stuff. So, um, eto, ito yung area ng ano, na living room tapos I'll just show you something may maya na ako magko-coffee so ito, itong books na to itong bookshelf na to um, puro to cookbook so collection kayo ng cookbook tapos ayan, meron din ako dito collection ng pocketbook ayan, so ayan Meron ako isang chair dito. Pagka halimbawa feel ko mag mag uh, basa basa if I have the chance. Although I also have the, my Kindle e-book ko. Kasi I can carry that anywhere eh. Tapos siguro mga 500 books din yung nandun sa e-book ko. Okay. So ayan yung living room. Dito naman buksan natin yung ilaw. Dito yung dining. So, yung dining area namin. So, ayan. Tapos, dito yung kitchen. Ayan yung kitchen. Diyan ako nag-demo, ba? So, ayan. Tapos, ah, saan ba yun? <laughs> dito naman yung bathroom tapos ayun. yung bedroom namin ni princess baka magalit pag nakita mo binibideo ko siya tapos gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo to ito naman yung show rack namin so ito yung white and red converse kay princess to tapos itong black white Denim, leather, leather, canvas, polka dots, converse sa akin yun. Tsaka yung aking, uh, yung makita, no? yung aking new balance na rubber shoes pang gym. So, ipakain natin ilaw. And then, on this side, sabi ko nga, dito naman yung aking mini office. Okay. So, ayan yung mga stuff ko pagka nag-catering ako. Yung mga anik-anik ako dyan. And then, ito. Ayan yung aking mini office. Okay. Tapos, dun, 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 dun sa loob na yun. In that area, andun yung ibang mga stuff. Pagka nag-cater ako, yung mga plato and everything. Tapos, ay Maganda ang panahon ngayon. Taas ang ano, araw. So, ito naman yung labas. Okay. Tapos, meron lang, ayun, cooking in a kitchen. Ayan, meron ako dyan. Tapos, meron din ako dito. Cooking in a kitchen. Okay. Makalat pa, makalat pa dito sa labas. Okay. So, ayan. Ayan yung kabuoan ng aming 
house. So, pag walang pasok, most of the time, I just stay in the house and do a lot of things. So, yan. So, my plan for today is just to stay at home. Medyo maglilinis ng konti. And then, I'll do... Um, Mag-aayos ako ng files. Electronic files. And then, yung files ko sa office. Because, makalapit na naman yung Pasko. Alam nyo naman. During this time, parang for some reason, a lot of people are rushing for something. Alam nyo yun. So, tapos, um, I'll, I'll, I'll check my schedule because there will be a lot of activities na rin for me. Medyo parang um, iibahin ko ngayon yung, yung Christmas, yung December. I'll be attending several um, Christmas parties na mga group where I belong. Kasi it's been quite a long time since I decided it's my own decision not to attend to any um, parties during Christmas, any reunion, um, family or friends or, or whatsoever. It's my personal choice. I decided to just concentrate on my, on my work, on my job, on my business for the past four years. But this time, siguro, I have to change that attitude kasi um, I have my personal reason okay siguro in, in in my next video siguro if I if I'm uh, ready enough to discuss to you kung ano yung reason ko bakit ayoko umaten dati uh, kikwento ko na lang yun sa susunod na mga videos but in nga ang sinasabi ko uh, this year I decided to attend parties, uh, Christmas parties, gathering ng mga group where I belong. Kasi I need to document that now that I'm into vlogging na ulit, um, I think it's about time na I become ano na ulit, eh, active when it comes to events ng group, food group where I belong. Tsaka dun sa, um, sa work I think I don't have any choice but you know uh, to socialize to socialize and um, yun nga umatin alam nyo guys um, may mga tao na nagko-comment sa akin pagka doon nakikwento ako parang ang bagal kong magkwento may times na ang bagal-bagal kong magsalita magkwento at paikot-ikot may times naman na sobrang bilis alam niyo yun. Pero most of the time, mabilis ako magsalita dahil mabilis, marami akong iniisip. Mar mabilis yung nasa utak ko. Tapos minsan nabubulul-bulul ako. Pero today, pagbigyan nyo na ako, no? It's my first time to do a video na ito. Wala akong makeup. Nagigising ko lang walang kape. Parang walang kape, walang laman pang pa utak. Alam niyo, nagbabuffer pa. It's, I mean... Kung totoo sa yun, it's late na nang nagising ako. It's 8am. Past 8 na rin eh, no? So, kasi maaga ang klase ko sa school. Monday to Thursday, maalis ako dito ng 6am. So, ganyan. Ano pa ba? Uh, this type of video na ginagawa ko, yung ganito, eto yung sample of random thoughts. Yung anything that will come uh, will come in my mind. Yun, discuss ko. Random thoughts nga eh, kung anong maisip ko. Um, kunyari, meron akong something na gustong sabihin or gustong ikwento lang. Ganon. So, if you guys like this video, please um, comment. Uh, alam nyo, <laughs> nasa slow lang, nasa slowhan talaga ako. So, yeah, if you have any comments, just comment down below and then let me know your thoughts too. 
Tapos, then we can discuss if you have any topics that you would like me to, uh, to, to discuss or you want to hear my opinion or you want my advice. Malay nyo, di ba, like what I've said, baka yung pinagdaanan nyo ay nakadaan na rin ako and then ano yung experience ko sa pagdaan dun sa sa sitwasyon na yon malay nyo, it will help you as well, malay nyo, applicable sa inyo yun, yung mga advices ko so, ganyan um, sabi ko nga din, I need this guy, for me talking talking to you or talking on a video tapos i-upload ko sa YouTube like, like what I am doing right now is is a therapy for me as well kumbaga kasi we have a lot of things in our mind in our hearts so we need to up unload those things diba? para kumbaga yung kasabihan na bago ka malagyan sa baso mo kailangan magtanggal ka Diba? It's like it's it's I'm 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 referring to skills and your knowledge, diba? Like for me, I'm a, I'm a teacher. I'm an I am an instructor trainer. So whatever I have learned, whatever I have achieved in my life, I need to share it with my student. I need I I have this need. I mean I am not required, of course. Kumbaga parang sa ating uh, norms. You're not required to do something like that, but I am requiring myself. I have the need to do that because this is my opinion, okay? A lot of people may, uh, um, tao dito, they will contradict to what I believe in, but this is what I believe in. So I have this need. I have this need to share whatever I have learned, whatever I have achieved, because from from that. Uh, I will also be able to learn something back. Kaya nga, I love talking to people, to different kind of people. I love to share my thoughts, I love to share my opinions, and at the same time, I love listening to people. I, I love listening to what they have to tell, what they have to say, di ba? So, I always hunger for, for knowledge. Ano nga eh, sabi nga nila, um, parang, ano ko eh, nung araw, nung when I was in my teenager stage, ano ko eh, often described as street smart. Literally, mahilig akong tumambay sa kali eh. <laughs> Hindi, hindi ko sabihin, inaalam ko yung kalakaran ng ng kalye para hindi ako maloko pero syempre darating din yung time na medyo maloloko pa during my time makuwento ko lang ano it's uh, it's much safer okay um, uh, i'm referring to crime rate uh, rate crime rate during during my time siguro 80s 90s ganyan so um before going to college i live in las piñas okay before going to college, uh, my parents asked me, kasi gusto kong mag-college sa Lyceum. A lot of my classmates uh, decided na dito na lang sa Las Piñas. Kasi mayroong university dito sa Las Piñas, dalawa. Dalawa pa lang nun eh, yung Perpetual Health, tsaka yung St. Francis of Assisi. Sabi ko, ayoko, gusto kong mag-Mainila. And then my parents asked me kung kaya kong, kung kaya kong, labanan yung yung demands ng uh, pag-aaral sa Maynila. Hindi naman ako magdo-dorm. Uwian. Meron kaming may bus pa no dito sa Las Piñas, hindi pa Task Trans eh, hindi pa Aircon eh. Yung Chabar, yung yung minibus na hindi Aircon. So, anyways, so ang sinasabi lang dito ng parents ko, kaya mo ba na labanan ng yung 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 Kasi maraming marami kang makakasalamuha sa kali eh. Especially when you're in college, andyan yung pagbubuli sa'yo, ganyan-ganyan, and, and all those things. Marami ka may experience. So sabi ko, by nature kasi I'm a very brave person, courageous. Lahat, parang ako yung tipo ng taong laban kong laban, patay kong patay. Yung ganun, yung wala akong nakatakutan ever since. So sabi ko, if, uh, ano ako eh, 
risk taker. Sabi ko, kaya ko, pakangatawa na ko. And, and I did. I, and I graduated from college na wala naman ako na-experience na bad experience, puro fun experiences yung na 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 ranasan ko during my college time. It was a wonderful experience actually. And then the same thing, I asked my daughter when she is about to enter college, she wanted to uh, study in Mapua Institute of Technology. So it's in Manila also. It's in Intramuros just beside Lyceum. So alam ko ang kalakaran doon. So kung basta, habi ko sa kanya, the same thing I asked her yung tinanong sa akin ng parents ko when I dis- when I'm about to enter college sabi ko kaya mo ba yung demands ng ng kalye considering na yung personality ni princess oo mas mukha siyang strong sa akin mas matapang siya but still I, I but I still look at her as my little girl kaya parang andun yung kaba ko but I let her I let her ano, um, decide on her own. Kung sinabi niya sa akin, she assured me na kaya niyang, kaya niyang harapin yung uh, demands ng kali. And then, I let it be. The same thing na ginawa sa akin ng parents ko. They trusted me na kaya kong pang- pangalagaan yung sarili ko. Na awa naman ng Diyos, wala namang masamang nangyari sa akin. Kahit na nag-asawa ako ng maaga. <laughs> hindi naman masamang pangyayari it's a wonderful thing actually but ang sinasabi ko lang dito nakagraduate naman ako ng maaga eh, nakagraduate naman ako kahit nag-asawa ko ng maaga at nagkaanap ko ng maaga inasikasok pa rin naman yung pagkatapos ko so ayan so the same thing na sinasabi ko dun sa daughter ko na if you are able to manage the pressure of studying in the city, in the big city. Ang, ang tawag ko kasi sa Manila, big city. Feeling New York. <laughs> so, hindi. Totoo naman eh, di ba? Lahat ng, lahat ng klase ng ano. Although, intramuros, mas, ano pa eh, yung uni- university belt, mas ano pa yun eh. Mas, andun yung lahat ng skwelahan, lahat ng ano eh, ng, ng universities, na, kaya nga university belt eh. Mas isolated pa nga yung intramuros because we, ilan lang school they see yung letran mapuwa pamantasan sa Agustin ay that church pa leon so mas mas okay pa yung environment ng Intramuros compared sa University Belt but still it's still it, it's in Manila so alam niyo yon um, yung worries ko and all that na i think the same worries na na experience ng parents ko when i decided to study in Manila in Intramuros kaya yun nga, yun yung sinasabi ko ba't ba, ako na, ba't ba tayo napunta dun sa topic nyo <laughs> yung knowledge and skills okay so yun um, ang sinasabi ko lang dito uh, ako yung tipo ng tao na hindi madamat sa ideas sa knowledge and skills the more I gain knowledge and skills the more I give I give to people who needs it, especially my students, okay? So, I'm not, I'm a, uh, I'm not like other people na parang ang damot, parang especially sa akin ha, sa, sa industriya, may mga ganun eh, yung madamot sa recipe. Ang sa akin kasi, um, iba-iba tayo ng execution. The moment, the same recipe, I mean, the same dish, iba't iba yung nagluto, it will become your ano na eh, your signature dish na eh. ibig sabihin iba iba tayo ng execution kahit parehas adobo yan iba pa rin yung the way you cook it okay at saka no matter how you give your recipe to other people yun nga iba pa rin ang execution it might be uh, different yung outcome ng gagawin ko dun sa outcome ng gagawin mo di ba so but ka nag-worry na i- i- ibigay yung recipe mo? So, give them advice. Give them something na para, kunyari, ma-perfect yung, yung something na gagawin nila. So, yun nga, for me, kumbaga, I'm a very generous person when it comes to that. I may not be blessed with a lot of money. Well, I believe that the abundance is coming, okay? So, 
what I'm saying right now is that yung 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 generosity ko over giving something na money can't buy is enough for me to become happy, de ba? Kasi knowledge you cannot buy that. I mean, whatever you learn from school, whatever you learn from other places, well, kunyare. Uh, for example, you pay for your tuition fee, you pay for the, the training, but kung halimbawa ikaw naman yung hindi ka natututo, hindi na-absorb ng utak mo yung mga itinuturo sa'yo, it's useless. Diba? The money is wasted. Kung baga nga, diba, yung ibang mga magulang, nalulungkot sila kasi they, waste, they wasted their money paying for the tuition fee na hindi naman tinahalagahan ng mga bata. So, kahit na, na, na money is just something that you use parang ano yan eh kumbaga nagiging, nagiging useless ang, ang uh, gamit ng money if you will not be able to use it properly like yun nga for example nga yung knowledge sa akin when I, when I, when I share my ideas when I share my something that's here or yung yung skills ko pag binigay ko yon ano ako eh i'm i'm happy about it and at the same time pag ka na i-share ko na yon i'm prepared to accept and to receive um something else yung yung some more knowledge and some more skills kumbaga nga yun nga yung mag unpour ka whatever is in your cup para you will be able to receive something new, something else. Diba? Yun lang ang, yun lang ang something that I uh, I live up ever since. Pagka meron ako natututunan, pag meron ako meron ako something na yun nga, na, na achieve, I, I would be very happy to share that to anyone, to everyone especially my my students kasi sa akin never kong ipagdadamot yung knowledge skills and talent ko kasi pag namatay ako de ba ako yung ang sa akin i want to live i want to live a legacy um i want some people to remember me as somebody who teaches them something very significant Diba? Ang sarap pakinggan no na kunyari mamatay na ako. Ayan si chef. Tinuruan ako niya ni chef gumawa ng uh, ganito, ng scrambled egg. Nakakaiba. Ayan si chef. Tinuruan niya ako ng ganito. So, yun. Ganun yung gusto kong ano eh. Uh, ganun yung gusto kong mangyari when my time comes. Diba? I would be very happy entering the heavens. O oh, diba? Heaven. Heaven na tayo nakarating. Anyways, ilang minutes na. Nakaka-23 minutes na ako, guys. So, yun lang. This is just an example of a random thoughts from your Cooking in a Kitchen. So, if you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. And then, comment down below. And then, um, gaya po ng aking palaging sinasabi, uh, ito po ang inyong abang lingkod, si Cooking in a Kitchen, na nagsasabi ng ang batang masipag paglaki pagod. Until my next video, bye!